There's been a huge amount of growth in AI in automotive systems. We tend to think of just autonomous vehicles, but actually AI is being incorporated into a lot of different functions in even regular vehicles today. So well before we have autonomous vehicles, we are seeing a huge amount of growth in AI in general all over the automotive landscape. Systems engineering is a systematic approach for developing complex systems. The approach is based on taking on what we call a systems perspective, in which we divide the system up into its parts and the interfaces between those parts. By carefully understanding and characterizing the interfaces between the parts, we can make sure that the teams of engineers who focus on the development of the individual parts come up with an approach for these individual parts that leads to an integrated system with all of the desired characteristics. There are some big differences between traditional program software in vehicle, which we have a lot of now, and AI models. And AI models work based on training from data. And so the data starts to play out a huge role in the system engineering process. And system engineers need to think about how to incorporate data and all the issues that go along with data into their system engineering process. Deterministic and probabilistic systems are fundamentally different. The traditional way of engineering education is rather deterministic focused. The new world of autonomous systems, rather than just automated systems, will be deployed in such unstructured environments that the sheer combination, the amount of combination of different situations exceeds everything which we have seen in traditional engineering systems. The only way to treat them is with a probabilistic point of view. This thinking is situation dependent and requires a complete new approach on how we test things, how we design systems, how we think about systems in a general way. Specifically in the context of autonomous vehicle development, the opportunities for model-based systems engineering are significant. The level of complexity of such systems is an order of magnitude beyond what we have dealt with so far and model-based systems engineering can really make a contribution there in helping systems engineers overcome that complexity. We have the tendency a lot of times in research, if something is popular and opens us many opportunities such as AI systems, that we go full steam in one direction. We are actually not negating the trend here, but we are working all actively on the formulation of hybrid systems. For us, artificial intelligence really becomes powerful if we combine it with existing other technologies. Merging existing theory, other existing fields, and putting them in context of AI might be the way to finally have verifiable systems. We've seen a huge amount of growth in software in the vehicles in the last 10 years, and it's been challenging enough to integrate software and software development into that engineering process. AI introduces a whole new set of challenges, not just like software, it has some fundamental differences. So we need leaders who actually are forward thinking, can look at the implications of those differences in our engineering process and can work closely with the AI experts to better integrate AI into that engineering environment and even think about how they use AI in the engineering process.